Welcome to Bottom Line Sports Talk. I'm George Abraham. You know my partner, Albert Kempman. We like to do a special from time to time, and today we're going to look at the NFL playoffs. Always a big deal. Well, probably the NFL has basically left the other sports. NBA is popular. Baseball has its niche. Hockey has its niche. But there's one king. We refer to it in high school and college. But in the pro, it's like an ATM. It's been like that for now. Wow. The commissioners of that league, they have figured out the marketing technique of, of the NFL. Um, now they have DraftKings as one of their uh, major sponsors. Yeah, no, That's yeah. all you got to know. Yeah, no sense. They used to hide it. Remember, they shied they away. They hide used, anymore. They used to tell the Greek. <laughs> you know, they'd say to the Greek, they'd say, no, you can't talk about point spreads. You can say... I like them, but not that much. Right. But now they have right in the bottom of the screen, plus six, over, under 48 and a half uh, total points, you know, this. And they don't hide it, and uh, they don't shy from it. We've never heard anything in football at all as far as a scandal we have in basketball with Donahue, the referee. And I have a feeling it's, it's out there so much that it's not going to There's a no scandal. They're, they're on it. And there's two. understand they're, they're on it. Yeah, they see a bet committed. Oh, no, they're on it. They monitor such things. Now, remember, that's not talking illegal. Oh, no, we're not talking Yeah, about we're that. talking, like, when they say, well, we monitor everything. Yes, they do, on legal wagering. Yeah, they do. It, but yeah. legal wagering is probably a smaller part than most people realize. And we've talked about this. I, when this first happened, about two years ago, I did a little interview, and they said to me, they said, Tell us about it. I said, well, he said, the biggest thing with the DraftKings are the changing odds and all. First of all, I'm not phone savvy enough. That hurts me a little bit uh -huh. there. Uh, matter of fact, when I tried to get on DraftKings, my home computer, it wouldn't pick up the GPS. And they said, you don't live in Pennsylvania. I said, well, I used to. You know? <laughs> but anyhow, the point is, this is out there. It's in game, whatever, but the local guy will still have his place because you don't have to have the money in your account. You and I have spoken about this. At ten after four, you might be three and two. At four twelve, you're one and three, and your money's gone. Yeah, it changes drastically. But we will cover the odds today on our show. We'll cover what's happening with the uh, yeah. NFL. It led in with that unbelievable ending on uh, Sunday with the, with the Vegas and Chargers. Could end in a tie very easily. And then both teams, both teams were in, you know, somebody said, well, they kneeled down the whole game. I thought, no, they won't do that. But I'll be darned, if I was on my own too, I wouldn't go for oh, it. No, they like like last that. night, I think the Chargers coach and the Raiders coach had an obligation to their men to get in that game. And if it was by not calling a timeout so right. the Raiders would kneel, this guy and I, we're on a different wavelength. I'm, I'd have fired him this morning fourth and one at his own 18. We've seen him go. For, how about down nine? He could show me papers from now. Right. That's the one I just He could about. show me graphs, vectors, tangents, in cotangent, sync, cosync. I'm saying that's wrong. Yeah, I don't understand it. And somebody could call on our show and write in. He got show. lucky. Up nine. I mean, if you have to score twice in the last three or four minutes of a game. Yeah, not in the I third quarter, it. which I wouldn't anyway, but I could see where you could say, we got a hold. Yeah. This I was four minutes. So that happened. They hit, the NFL hits a grand slam with that game. Yes. And now the, now the playoffs are to begin. That changed the playoff picture, by the yes. way, also a lot. And as we, as we look at the, at the, the early games, the wild card weekend, Vegas comes into Cincinnati now as, as a six-and-a-half-point underdog. That number's exactly right. Cincinnati – Beat them badly the first time they played. I think 32 to 10 or something like that. And uh, uh, Pat Patriots come in four and a half point dog to uh, Buffalo. Uh, the, the the paths are dangerous because of Belichick. No question about that. That's what they're all talking about. That's they think that Buffalo can't beat them third time around. It's gonna be interesting to see because I'm a Buffalo guy. Uh, but they come in four and a half point dog. Eagles eight and a half at Tampa Bay. But that's a big line for somebody who's playing really well. Philadelphia's playing tremendous football down the stretch. Uh, they rested all their guys against uh, against Dallas. So that game meant zero. Tampa's beat up. Um, I think they're betting Brady. I think they're going with Brady oh, there. They, there's nothing wrong with that, is there? You could do worse. No, but, but, that, know, but that, that line surprised me. I want to talk about that. I want to take these games apart then. But first, I want to talk about Hurts. All I hear is they're, they're talking about three ones for the kid from Houston. They want this guy. 
And I look at this kid winning week in and week out. They didn't even try Saturday. So, so scratch oh, that. Was, that was a minor, that was an yeah. exhibition game. That was a JV game. Yeah. But my point to you is, I wonder sometimes what these people are looking at. This kid puts points up. He can run when he has to. Well, that's his strength. And, and he's not a, a terrible passer. No, he's not terrible. No. no. He's, not, he's, not, he's not NFL high, high class. No. Character, but he makes plays enough plays both ways. Oh, the feed. The feed will kill you. Running and throwing. That he's, yeah. he's dangerous. Yeah. And in Philadelphia, the coach gave him credit. He finally figured out midway through the year we have to run the football. Yes. And he went to the running option te- the technique. Get from Woodland Hills still there, too. Yeah, yeah, Miles Sanders. Miles right? Sanders, mm-hmm. good run. But, yeah, I agree so with that, you. Yeah, so their Philadelphia's played great football. Um, that, line, that line stood out to me immediately. I don't understand why Tampa's favored by that many points over okay. Philadelphia. San Francisco comes in three and a half to Dallas, uh, underdog three and a half to Dallas. Dallas high-powered offensively, George. Oh. Watch them play. They got receivers running all over the field. They do. Great running back, great quarterback. I mean, they, they really have a good offensive line. And you and I both agree they're better with the backup runner in there. Yeah, Pollard's better than right Absolutely. now. Right now, he's yeah. more explosive. I don't know if Zeke's worn out. He's old, more explosive. Uh, tires, you know, miles right. on the tires, mm-hmm. whatever the word yeah, is. Yeah, I do agree but with But I don't think but so. But that line is exactly where it should be also. Absolutely. Well, it's San Francisco's a very, very serious underdog in, in, in these playoffs. Okay. Pittsburgh already got killed by Kansas City. Um, Kansas City will come in as a big favorite, no doubt. The line come out at 12 and a half. Uh, Pittsburgh did not have um, – I watched the first one. Johnson played pathetically. Clay, Claypool played bad. And uh, the tight end did not play in that game. Pittsburgh had three guys out on defense, too. I don't know what's going to happen. I have no idea. But the, the karma says Pittsburgh's going to be ready for this game. I just don't know if they're good enough to play Kansas City. Arizona, uh, great road team. That, they, they were probably happy to lose. No, they're, they're, they're going they're, on the road. They're, 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 they're terrible at home. They yes. got to beat again yesterday. Yep, that's the way it's happened all year. And uh, the Rams are probably the hardest team for me to look at. I, 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 I don't grasp. If you watched the first half of that game yesterday, you would have thought they're their Super Bowl, Super Bowl favorite. Second half, you think, wonder why they're in the playoffs. Now, they've lost six straight to the 49ers. Mm-hmm. I'm watching the pretty boy there, you know, Mr. Uh, soup, Chunky Soup. Uh, you can't blow that 17-point lead at home. You just can't. If you're a serious team. That's what I'm talking about. It's because they, yeah. they, they, want to be an, they want to be a Super Bowl team. Because in, in December and January, when you, want play, you want to be playing your best yeah. ball. Yeah, and, the, and they're blowing leads at home. And then giving this team a chance, that team was out. Mm-hmm. 17-0, a field goal right before half. 17-3, you got to win that game. Yeah, and and once again, there's a guy you don't like there. I'm going to give you credit. Can he win a big game, Matthew Stafford? Yes, it's tough for him to, to, to prove that he's a big-time quarterback. I know he has the ability. I, there's no doubt. And he's about got that. the chase your tail stats that uh, Matty Ice yeah, has. Yeah, so he has big stats and he has big time ability, but he also has not, not, a, lot, not a lot of big time wins. Hey, I'm going to give I heard a he line big time wins. that made me think of uh, Matthew Stafford. The guy said, I'm not giving you credit for getting out of trouble you get in yourself. He does it all. In time. other words, Ryan will throw two interceptions mm-hmm. in the first half. Then they, he's going for two, and they're down seven. If they get the ball and they onside, right. and they lose. Right. And he's got 348 yards passing. And it was, look, it's not Matty Ice's right. fault. It's not Stafford's fault. Bottom line is, these guys don't, when I say win, I mean win at the optimum level. Yeah. And, he has, he, I, and I realize he played in Detroit. So we're gonna, I'm going I'm to see right now. This is, this is, the, this is calling the spade a spade well, right Yesterday now. wasn't a good out. Because the Rams are really good. Yes. And we're going to find out if, they're, they're, if they can pull it off. In the playoffs, because you have to be playing your best ball. You are not getting through the playoffs playing, playing one half and, and, and giving up another half. So um, the top seeds, Tennessee and Green Bay, are sitting home getting rested up and, and for these teams. Green, Green Bay is, is the uh, big favorite in the, uh, in the odds. I think Georgia. Yeah, well, let's run the, let's, 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 let's take these yeah, games yeah. apart first. Then we'll run the odds. Okay. How's what do you that? Want, let's what do you just, want to do? I just want to get your thoughts on each game and then. We'll do the odds and say, hey, that's a, that's a value. You know, I, I know people think the Packers are going to win, but my thought is, is uh, 380 worth it? Yeah. In other words, I'd rather get 900 and take a little chance on whomever. Right. Let's look at these games, just the initial games, then we'll talk about the favorites, and then we'll do the odds. The Raiders, Bengals, would you take the six and a half? I, George, I can't call that one. I know oh. you like how the Raiders rush the quarterback. I love the Raiders. I love the Raiders, how they're playing. Like, they're really good defensively. But if ever a team that is high-powered high, high powered offensively, offensively Bengals. 
against the Bengals. And I, and I saw the Bengals take the – I know it's hard to judge by one game, but the Bengals went into the Raiders and just took them apart that day. Yeah, I remember that day because I thought the Raiders would be good at, at home, uh-huh. and they just murdered Yeah, it was, it was never – the score was closer at the beginning, but, then, mm-hmm. but they never they – never I like Carr. I'm a Carr guy. They never challenged. You know that. I'd yep. love to see him come to Pittsburgh. Love it. Yeah, Carr, Carr is a, a very underrated quarterback with regards to – him making plays. He does, he's, a, he's a playmaker at big times. Mm-hmm. And uh, you want those kind of guys. That, ga- that, game is, is going to be a, that game is going to be right around the spread. I'll be shocked if Cincinnati wins by 30 or the, or the Raiders win by 10. Okay, I, so think it's gonna, I think it's going to come down. Maybe right, a, right, maybe a right teaser there. game for the FanDuel people. Could be. Okay, yeah, let's look. Be. New England at Buffalo. This is a trilogy. They went into Buffalo with 30 mile an hour wins. And I think the wind spooked Buffalo a little bit. They went into New England and Handle them. Yeah, I'm a big Buffalo guy. I'm picking them to win the Super Bowl. I've said it on the show many, many times. I, I, I won't get off that. I think they have the quarterback to win it. I, ha- I think they have the team to win it. Um, so everybody's picking New England. Um, they're going against me. I, I, I think I think Buffalo is better in New England this year. I think Buffalo is better on both. I think both the defenses are equal, and Buffalo is way better offensively. Oh yeah, the quarterback so, just with the experience and the ability. Yeah, yeah. he could get that run at any. Hey, I have to say he this. Uh, we'll, go, we'll, we'll jump back since they're going. The kid from San Diego Chargers, who are now the L.A. Chargers. Right. Yikes. Talented. Whoa, man. Talented. Yeah. Yep. Now, the Eagles, you're saying they're a live dog. In oh, your yeah, mind. No doubt. No doubt. That's a okay. little there, there is no doubt. Tampa's not the team they were last year. No. Nope. Tampa last year at this time came in. Yeah. They were healthy, flying, even though they flying were. High. Yeah, but they were wild card. They had to go in the road the whole know, time. But, but they finished up strong. They, Godwin, they, finished, they miss him. Oh, yeah. He's a, he's and I know Brown's player. a goofball. They miss him, too. But he can also catch football. Yeah, he's a great player. Now, Gronk looked good yesterday. And uh, Evans, he got hurt but uh-huh. came back. So, right. he sees th- 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 they need a third guy. That one guy that had the big run and he's, he's fast. but Perryman he, is, is the guy yeah. they're going to turn is to. Is that who they're looking at, yeah. Perryman? That's who, that's who they're looking to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, here's the team that's interesting. I can't figure them out. Frisco. i got to give Jimmy G credit. They said his thumb was so messed up. The webbing in here, I guess, he said it was as painful as can be, but he sucked it up, and that's a nice win. And you know one thing, they'll get after the quarterback. Yeah, I like San Francisco in this game. I, I definitely, and people like Dallas. So I, I like, I go against the, the flow. Yeah. I think 49ers will run the ball against them, hold the ball, make Dallas a little frustrated, uh, and the pass rush of San Francisco is going to give them trouble. My biggest worry is Jimmy G, because uh, Dallas can rush the passer too, and I'm scared when he gets pressure. He throws the ball. How about the, the kid team. from Penn State? What a difference he made. That's what I'm saying. He's a, he was Parsons Dallas, was that passer. Yeah, yeah, I remember he sat out last year, and I thought, you know what, Penn State, they had another guy sat out. I'm thinking to myself, how much difference would he have made? Then he comes into the pros, and he makes a huge difference no, with Dallas. No, he's a he's the NFL pro bowler. I mean, yeah, he's, he's not an a good no, he's rookie. An he's no. a good player. No, he's a great player. That's what yeah, I thought. Difference maker. Now yeah, the standards are the one, obviously. They're running this game back from about, what, three, four, five weeks ago? Yeah. It, it won't be the same. Well, if it is, then they'll be turned, over, turned off at the end of the first you quarter. You'll be watching uh, reruns of uh, Chicago PD. <laughs> yeah, that's the, the truth. No, because they, uh, 12 and a half points is, boy, if they score first, you'd have to be. My worry is on them scoring, though. They're so lousy offensively. Yeah, they, yeah. And, and Kansas City's much better defense than you give them credit for. Absolutely. They're, they're better defense. Now, everybody looks at Mahomes and their mm-hmm. offense. But, you know, uh, Saturday, Denver's going in for the lead when they fumbled that handoff of five-minute mm-hmm. mark. I know they did. I mean, it's you can't not, go by one game. You know, no, it's one, not impossible. Because Kansas City's been killing teams. Oh, I know. Before that. that game. Yeah, I can't. Before that game, Kansas City had yeah. killed teams. I'd have trouble taking Pittsburgh. I can't take them. But here's the deal. In that game, I can't if take If you them. have Kansas City, and you know what happened. Pittsburgh scores first, you're like, Nah, I need 20. I'll be shocked if it's. But yeah. George, George has been on. George has been right. Yeah. He's been on fire lately. Yeah. And he called the Steelers making the playoffs. Yeah, I, but I, I didn't. But, but it wasn't like I was in awe. I just thought the things could happen. Now, did I think Jacksonville would murder Indy as a 15 point dog? No, no I don't think anybody. No, could nobody. But when, I, you, but when you look at the Steelers, I, 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 I'm shocked that I don't see anything they do good. <laughs> like, I. What about their defense? What? It's an average for defensive bats. Minnesota had 30, 38. Uh, Chargers had 31 at halftime. Kansas City went to them like they weren't there. Oh, Kansas City yeah. was head so fast yeah, Kansas City that they was, pulled the thing off. Yeah, they were. Now, if, if you ask me what favor, was going to kill somebody. This would be the one. The line tells you that. But I, I, I see this, this as no game. Like, done, over, 
you know, 41, Will the higher seeds hold, hold <laughs> rank, in other words? No, I don't think so. No, I don't. Okay. No, I Give not. me your best think, chance of an upset. I got three or four of them. You got Philly, I know. Philly, I got San, okay. I got San Francisco. Okay, two. I got Arizona. Oh, that's, three. That's three. Right? Oh, okay. Three right no, there. no, no. I know when Connor Murray takes off with that ball. I and, I could take the, and I could take Vegas. So I could take four. Okay, so you're looking. I could take four. Now, yeah. two guys are sitting with their feet up. Green Bay's got their feet, and Roger or literally his toe. Uh -huh. He got his toe up, and uh, stinking Tennessee's getting the diesel back. Yeah. And I have watched Tannehill enough that I know when the diesel's back. When King Henry's out there, yeah, play that's a different pass. team. Yeah, that's how they got the first round. That's how they got the bye. They got the bye because their defense plays plays good enough in the red zone. Yeah. And and they're they can run the football. Oh, but he hasn't played either. in nine weeks. He has thousand yards rushing. Yeah. Oh no, he's By the best Lord. Running, He's the best running back in football. Uh, are you an Aaron Rodgers guy? Now he, remember now. Right. Play. The MVPs we know, but we also know he's lost four straight home games. He's the Bill Cowher of the NFC. Well, I have. I, mean, I still know how great he is. I don't. Okay, I don't, you're not you're not putting on him. No, I look at him. And okay. Think, I think I think no question he's the best quarterback in the league this year. I see no one. I really don't see anybody close to him this year. He's the MVP for sure. He's played unbelievable. And then, and, and you know you go to Lambeau right this time. I know. They're yeah. praying for they're praying for There's twenty undue, degrees. The doof. No. Adams is something. No, no, yeah. I don't. Now I'm still trying to figure out. You always say that. I call him. I go. No, I know it's freezing there, and I know it's slippery, but it's not slippery for him. Never. And then I look him up. He played at Fresno, so I know he didn't get it playing at like Wyoming or right. something. But we know that that the the Packers are the team to beat, and because Las Vegas makes them the favorite. It's really it's really simple. Let's just go over yeah. those plus three eighty. And for you guys that just dabble, that means if you put a hundred down, you'll get four eighty back. Yeah. So, what do you the, think? Is it, I don't think it's worth it. The thought is, is always is always. Do you win money? Uh, I would take Green Bay if if, if if you ask me about the whole board just to win some money. Mm -hmm. I would take Green Bay, okay. but but I don't I don't play that way. No, I no, no, no. I, I look to win more we money. We got a buddy. I look to win more money. His dad was a great horse handicapper. Remember, and Al and I would go years ago. We don't go anymore. And Al and I would go, and we'd have 50 bucks on the race, and he'd have four, and he'd win. But and we'd say, wait a minute, we're wheeling and all this. You know, we got every horse covered. Right. He's playing a two dollar four eight, and the four eight hits. He wins 38 for two, and we win 38 for 50. And he leaves. And he, yeah, he'd go home then he on the bus, like, the yeah. senior citizen bus. <laughs> but what, what we're saying is risk reward. And I was, I look at 380, and I think they can win, but I don't think it's enough for beating these you. other 12 teams. I got you. That, that, that makes sense. Let's That's go good. to the Chiefs at plus 500. I would never take the Chiefs this year. I, I, I would never. I think the AFC is just too too good. Okay. I, I the AFC. The AFC. And I think why can't Tennessee beat them? Why can't Buffalo? Okay, beat next them? is the Buccaneers at plus seven yeah, fifty. Now think you're getting up one. some money neighborhood now. I wouldn't even think about taking them this year. No, I don't see. I don't see them. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, now here you do. The well, Bills are plus seven. Yeah, that's what I'm taking. So, and I already took them a long time. ago. Okay, was so, it better? Yeah, it was better odds then too. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. So, so yeah, there's no question. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Buffalo guy. I've been. If you listen to our show for the last eight weeks, mm -hmm. I said. When, it, when New England was beating them in the in the regular season, I said, "Don't yeah. make a difference to me." And they beat them in the ground. I'm still taking Buffalo, yeah. and uh, and they went into New England and, and showed them. Yeah, so Buffalo's my team. Okay, so so I, I won't get off them. How about Titans at eight fifty? Titans are, are great odds. You, you, you know, people, you realize they have two. If no, they, they win two, two home games, yeah. and they're both yeah the best odds on the board. Titans plus eight fifty. That's yeah. a. I got a buddy that has the Titans and Rams in the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Man, oh man! I think he both of them are good odds. Yeah, you, plus eighteen hundred. Yeah, for the two. Yeah, of them. Cowboys at eleven looks good to me. Yeah, hey, eleven hundred dollars for the Cowboys. Don't Offensive you? juggernaut. Yeah. You have to throw. I have to throw somebody out. So I already made my pick. Okay. Buffalo. I think Buffalo's the my pick to win it, and Tennessee is the on the board. Best is the best odds. Yeah, best I, no, I, that's, I, that's what see, I see. I think you got. I don't. I always look at that. What, what do I win? You know, I mean, I, I want to win more than three eighty. And if I'm going to bet somebody down the board, I've already yeah. bet it, by the way. So I don't say I'm not going to yeah. win it. I've already done it. I okay. bet San Francisco at thirty. Cardinals are plus seventeen. Yeah, I don't see that winner. Pats plus seventeen. No not enough firepower. Mm -mm. Bengals plus twenty one. No. Forty nine. That's four. For me. Okay. Forty nine. Just just have been winning like crazy. Had had uh, 
who they have beat the game before the Rams? They lost 20, 23. Was it Tennessee? I think it was, I think they lost to Tennessee. Yeah, it was a Thursday night game. Yeah, close. Thursday. Yeah, they, no, they should have they 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 won that no, they, game. They had two plays to make it big, and instead it was only 10-0 at halftime. Yeah. Absolutely. I thought they should have won that game, and that tells you how good they are. They had Tennessee beat there, and they went into the Rams just to beat the Rams. Eagles plus 5,000. I mean, if you have an extra 20 to win a 1,000, it'd be mm-hmm. worth yeah, it. Yeah, if you have an extra, if you have a lot uh, uh, some extra ten dollars, twenty dollars. See, my opinion of Raiders shouldn't be lower than the Eagles. Gotcha. But that's of course. They, I see nothing wrong with that. The Eagles go to Tampa. I can, I mean, see, I can see nothing wrong. And with the Steelers are the biggest dog. Yeah, they should be. Yeah, they're yeah, the worst. They team. snuck in the back door, no question yeah. about it. Uh, coaches fired. We'll save that for our regular show because overnight, uh, three or four guys mm-hmm. got the Ziggy. We knew the coach from Denver. They didn't even wait till. Uh, Monday. Right. They got him Sunday. Now I'm waiting for Minnesota. Scott. He didn't get it yet. The, the GM got it. No, they got the coach today, oh, too. They got coach yeah, they got Spielman I didn't see that. and the coach. I saw Spielman win. Yeah. I didn't see and I didn't the coach. Zero, zero one, two, and okay. the Giants, he, the guy hung on, but the uh, GM Jeff, retired. Jeff, 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 He's okay. 70. Okay. That's time. It's time to get out. Don't you think, yeah, seven? No, yeah, no question. Uh, your best bet's the Chiefs, you think, as far as the odds? No, no the, I don't. I you don't, don't like the Chiefs? No, I, I don't. I think the Chiefs can win it. Mid-tier, you like the Titans, though. Yeah, oh, yeah. And Titan, it. Yeah, Titans are the pick. Titans are the pick for, for with regards to the odds. I, I see no reason why a team that, that has won all year, playing two games at home, is in mid-tier, in mid-tier for the odds. And Tannehill's not. No, he's good. Yeah. Good, he can't right. win it by himself. He, he's good. I he's agree. Won, he's won games by himself, though. Yeah. He has he, won games by himself. The other day, you know, that stinking Houston. Yeah, they're up 17. They all play. I'm, I got my feet back up. To, you know, I'm like, because <laughs> the next thing I know, it's a field goal game, and they have to score again. Yeah, in the NFL. We have to bring this up on this show. Hey, they should, that guy shouldn't get fired either. They play. Will yeah. you agree with that? The NFL plays. The dude at Houston. No, I wouldn't. Four wins when Watson yeah, walks out. Yeah, week no, yeah they play for him. They did play for him. They're gonna I agree fu- a I thousand gonna fire percent. Him, I think they're going to fire him. Do you really? Yeah, I do. All right. See, yeah. I don't like that. Yeah. Uh, the Jags, they win, but Detroit wins also. Uh, what do you say about that as far as? Well, the draft, the draft's a big, big part of the, the, the NFL. All right. Talk so about how, that so a little how bit. That, so how that ended was really important that the Jags win and, and Detroit win, but both, they both win. And so the Jags clinched the number one pick in the draft. Um, that, that job's going to be inviting for somebody. Who's the, the face? The left which getting that job. Because Lawrence, Lawrence showed yesterday that what he's capable he of doing. He looked like Clemson Lawrence instead of Jacksonville. Well, well it's Jacksonville Lawrence. Anybody's going to look like Jacksonville Lawrence. Yeah, I mean, Troy Eggman. He looked yeah, like yeah, he one looked in like, 15. He was one in 15. Wasn't Bradshaw game. off. Bradshaw was lousy. When you, play, when you get to come into a lousy team, that's the way it grows. That's the way it goes. Hey, this is good. you're talking about the 49ers, talking about uh, the big question. Nobody quite knows what to do long-term Jimmy G. Yeah. Do you put the kid from North Dakota in? No, I don't. He's not, he's not better than Jimmy G. I don't, I don't see it. I, I, I have to admit, I, I, am not, I, I want guys that can throw the football. And Running that. No, not that. If you're just a plain old runner. You're out. Uh, in the pros, I think they get you. I told George this. I, I've said it on the show all the time, and, and George saw it out. He's good enough to get away from the people. Jackson's been out the whole la- whole last four or five games. Yeah. And, he, and he's he's the best at, at – uh, Yeah, he and Kyler Murray are get, not getting yeah, hit. Yeah. Murray's been out, though. Murray's been out three yeah. games. No, yeah. you yeah. cannot run an NFL and be a running quarterback and survive. They're going to get you. They're going to get you some way, somehow. I don't care if it's ankle, knee, shoulder, ribs. They're going to get you. And, and we were talking about the 49ers with Jimmy G. You know, they have Kittle. They have Ayuk. They have uh, Debo. Well, Samuel's the one. There's nothing He's like, like a Swiss Army He's knight. the best in the NFL right now. You heard me say He can that. run in. No, they're using him. He's the most dangerous guy. San Fran's using him. He won that game single-handedly yesterday, the plays he made. I mean, he's just a, he's a runaway freight. He doesn't, there's not, you can't get him down, first of all. And he also runs like a deer. They, they couldn't figure out what to do with him. And so George just said, let's, let's use them every way we can. That's what we'll do with them. Uh, so, so, and we've been talking about the Packers. Uh, you better be sure if you want those odds to take the Packers. Let's talk about it. They have not won. They remember, they have, it's, it's not like they're winning Super Bowls no, all the we time. We have five minutes left. Let's look, yeah. at, let's look at the Packers. The, the trepidation, obviously, uh, the two games that Rodgers either was hurt or sat, didn't play. Mm-hmm. I know one thing. He has them over a barrel. 
Yeah, he I've does. seen enough. We, love doesn't look like the player. Al, no. Let's be honest. When yeah. he was at Utah State, what did we say? Throws the ball the other team. <laughs> you, I can't say anything worse about you. Yeah. Then you throw the ball. That's Darnold. I, I thought Darnold would be really Darnold. good. No. He couldn't break that habit. And Hackenberg I'm, was I'm the th- same. I'm throwing before. the ball to the other team. It's a bad. It's a bad habit to get into. Yep. Yeah. When you when you say, okay, I don't care. I'm just gonna throw the ball for grabs. The 380 doesn't impress you then with Green Bay. There's no possible way. Um, no, I didn't say that. I I I I I, I just think that. There's better bets on the board. I would, if you want to say you want to make money, Green Bay has two games to get to the Super Bowl. I see nothing wrong with taking them, but I, I don't like. I, I want better odds. That's the simple thing, George. Okay, let's look at the NFC, the wild card, compared to the AFC. The wild cards are stronger. Yes. Arizona. Yes. Very strong. Eagles, Eagles can win. I call it. Eagles, see, that's Eagles the win. team that I'm gonna have to get my eyes open. You, you stunned me here. No, they've been playing great. No, I mean, I knew okay. they were playing they, well till Saturday. Great. I didn't know you thought they were that good. Oh, they've been playing great. 28-22 lost Tampa before they were even good. It isn't like they went to, you know, got killed by Tampa the first time they played. No. No, and they, and they weren't playing good then. And I, and I told you, Tampa's not Tampa last year. Tampa's defense has been, has, has been moved on. Even Carolina moved the ball on yesterday. And, 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 and they have, they're injured. They're beat up. I, I, and we'll see if they come Tampa, back. Tampa, yeah. Tampa's beat up. You know, they're beat up a little mentally, too. I don't care what anybody says. You, know, you start having that turmoil, and you look at this guy's not, and this guy's going in, and this guy's hurt, and this guy said he's not, and he said, I, I don't. Now, I didn't say Tampa can't win because they got Brady. Brady will find a way to win yeah. usually. Now, let's talk about it. Last year, he went into Green Bay, and Green Bay played as poorly as he did well. I think they turned it over three times. Rodgers played very poorly. Yeah. And that's and the not coach like Rodgers. Too. And the coach choked in that game, too, so. That's another thing. You, you, you have to make good decisions. You can't have, you can't make bad decisions. No. These analytic decisions, George, are killing me. No, they really I are. I, I don't want to sound like get off my lawn, George, but I am. I, when he went for two down nine the other day, I was banging him. I they said, all do it. Where, where, where? That's a new thing. And then I'm analytics. coming in today, and Mad Dog's killing him. I think you have to. And I don't like Mad Dog. I have no idea. Well, anybody our age, and Mad Dog's our age. Yeah. You know, anybody older does not understand it. I, I don't care. I think it's an age thing. I really do. I don't know how. With five minutes left in the game, and you're down, you're down nine, and you go for. Eight. You got to make it one possession. You got to make. There's it one if possession. you miss that two point, you you're telling two your two guys possession. we can't win, guys, because we need two touchdowns. You need two possessions. Two, yeah. Yes, you need. You have to have it. So that means that that team runs off four minutes on the of the clock. You can't win. Punt, you can't win the game. No, I. I, was I, I, don't, about I don't see it. I tweeted that. I tweeted, it and one of the local coaches uh, retweeted it. So he thought the same this thing. Truth. You know, and he's not an old timer. Yes. So let's talk. We got about a minute and a half. Your pick is Buffalo versus Green, Green Bay. Bay. Yeah. And that's How's what, it going? And that's why I can't. That's why I can't go against no, Green I Bay. No, I understand. They have two games at Lambeau Field. I don't know how you get you get through that and say, wow, Green Bay. You have to go through Green Bay and win. Yeah, we're games. taking Dallas up there. It's hard. It's hard. Yeah. But I, all year I thought Buffalo was, is the team because they have the best. They have a quarterback that can win the game. They have a defense that can win the game, yeah. and, they, and they got receivers that can win the game. One, the one thing that they, they could have a five-point lead and lose because they're not a great running team. But I'll take my chance. With He'll Hill. run, though. I'll take, oh, yeah, he can. Yeah. I'll take my chances with Allen this year. I picked Buffalo at the beginning of the year. Yeah. Buffalo over Green Bay in, in the Super Bowl. Yeah, I, Who do you got, George? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking. I'm going to say Green Bay over the Titans. But New York is going to take it. I'm going to, yeah, it's because you um, said that's in the West. Because the Titans, I, I've, been on, man, the I've been on the Titans. Back. Um, remember that night? We had about 30 seconds. Remember, John Coughlin was up there with the Green Bay and it looked like he had front face. It looked like he had absolutely.